Turning out election 2020, more than a million mail-in ballots were delivered to voters too late during primary elections across the country. That finding comes from an audit of the Postal Service by its own watchdog agency. The audit reviewed the U.S. mail in several major cities, none here in Florida or Georgia. The finding adds to the concern, though, over whether the Postal Service will be able to handle the anticipated flood of mail-in ballots for the November election. Tark's here now to show us why many people in our area trusted the Postal Service to deliver their ballot in last month's primary. Tark? We know mail-in voting numbers soared during primary elections as the nation continues to struggle with the COVID-19 pandemic. And tonight we're looking closer at the record-breaking vote-by-mail statistics. And we have some advice from Duval County's election supervisor on making sure your ballot is counted. If you've requested to vote by mail in the November election, you can expect your ballot to be mailed to you on September 24th. That's just 40 days before America decides if Donald Trump or Joe Biden will become president. Looking back at the August primary in Duval County, roughly 123,000 voters requested vote-by-mail ballots. More than 57,000 of those ballots were returned and counted. But 1,346 votes didn't count for a variety of reasons. The real problem is... The voters wait too late. According to Duval County Election Supervisor Mike Hogan, in the primary election, 919 ballots were returned late. 176 didn't have a signature. 155 were undeliverable. And 96 mail-in ballots in Duval County either had no address or the signature didn't match. The second local county with the highest number of vote-by-mail numbers in the primary belongs to Alachua County, where nearly 34,000 people voted by mail. 16,655 mail-in ballots were counted in Clay County, nearly 11,000 mail-in ballots were counted in Nassau County, and more than 4,300 ballots were counted in Putnam County. If you're planning to vote by mail, the deadline to request your ballot to be mailed to you is October the 24th. On the following date, the 25th, it's the first day you can pick up a vote-by-mail ballot for the general election. Now, the Supervisor of Elections, Mike Hogan, says most voters already know who they're voting for in this election. So he suggests if you're voting by mail, send that ballot back almost as soon as you receive it to ensure plenty of time for it to be counted.